Today, I'm going to present another poem by Li Shangyi. This poem is in the title of Wu Ti or No Title. It is probably the most mysterious poem of the Tang Dynasty poetry. Many scholars have been debating about what the poem is about for over a thousand years. Professor Chai Zhongqi from the University of Illinois made two videos about this poem by Li Sangyi. Professor Chai summarized the many different interpretations of this poem and added his own interpretation. Unfortunately for some of you, his videos are presented in Mandarin. So I take the pleasure to incorporate some of his interpretations into this video so that the people who do not understand Mandarin can get a glimpse of Professor Chai's view on this poem. Another scholar I would like to mention is the scholar and poet Ye Jia Ying. She is an expert of classical Chinese poetry. She taught Chinese poetry in Taiwan, USA, and mainland China, and published many, many books on classical Chinese poetry in both Chinese and English. I listed the links to her first video of the full video series on this poem in the description section down below. You can check out her videos if you like. Chun means spring, Xin means Hot. Chunxin is often used to refer romantic thought because spring is the time for renewal, generosity, and romantic love. Spring is also the time that young girls were allowed to go out for sightseeing and visiting temples. So spring is the rare occasions when young men might get a glimpse of young women. Here, Chunxin not only refers to romantic thoughts the poet held for his wife, but also ambitions he might have when he was young. So David and I translate it as spring passion. Living in the boundless ocean, these mermen and mermaid were often lonely and cry and their tears will turn into pearls. The pearls will become round and lustrous under the bright moonlight, absorbing the yin energy from the moon. On the left is a picture of a merman from Shanghai Jing, the classic of mountain and ocean, while on the right is a modern depiction of merman. How different! I totally agree with Professor Chai Zhongqi. I'm not an expert on the structures and forms of poetry, of classical Chinese poetry. Professor Chai is. If you can understand Mandarin, I highly recommend you watching the two videos presented by Professor Chai Zhongqi. His interpretation and analysis of this poem are amazingly insightful. They can help you to really appreciate the beauty of classical Chinese poetry. I'm Dr. Gao, a philosopher obsessed with poetry. I make videos about the classical Chinese poetry, philosophies, and medical literature. If you like the content of my videos, please click on the like button and subscribe my channel. I also offer one-to-one -one online lessons on these subjects. If you'd like to know more about these subjects, please contact me. Here's my email address. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time.